Let's start with the three golden rules of comedy. Okay? Three golden rules. Number one, be funny. <laughs> seems ridiculous, doesn't it? It seems so obvious. But how many people have you seen that get up there and are trying to make a point and trying to make you think and trying to show you, you know, but they're not being funny, okay? This is a comedy club. Ha ha! Ha ha! Okay? Now, listen, I'm not against your opinionations. I'm not against your ideas, but just make sure they're fucking funny, okay? <laughs> Funny should be your number one priority above all else, okay? You want to enlighten the audience? You want to tell them what they should be thinking? Fine. Just make sure it's funny. There's no, this is not stand-up commentary. This is not stand-up pontificating. This is stand-up comedy. Your number one rule is be funny. And it's terrible when comedians judge other comedians. They're like, oh, well, he's just doing this. He's just, he's just being dirty. Or they're just, you know, they're just using characters or whatever. It's like, okay, but... Are they funny? Okay? That's all that really matters. Do you think the audience gives a crap about any of that when they come in the room? No! All they're thinking is, God, that guy was fucking hilarious! <laughs> okay? All that other stuff is meaningless. Okay? All that little jockeying amongst yourselves, or you're just doing that, or she's just this, and that, and that. They're just being physical like Dan. It doesn't matter. The question is this Are they funny? Because the only thing you're doing that you can do wrong is the crime of not being funny, okay? And you've probably seen that a lot, <laughs> all right? <laughs> How many times you watch guys one or another just not be funny? Okay, you fail. You know that's why, like a lot of times, I'll be outside talking, and they'll be like, "Greg, quiet down. They can hear you in the showroom." I'm like, you know why they can hear me in the showroom? Because there's no laughter to cover it up, <laughs> okay? Don't talk to me. Talk to that guy. He's the one not doing his fucking job, <laughs> right? That guy's supposed to be making him laugh so hard you can never hear me. <laughs> Number one. Let me erase the board from hello. <laughs> Number one. Be funny. Real simple. Probably not gonna use this board much. <laughs> it's already evaporating. I don't know what's wrong with it. Be funny, people. Number one rule, that's it, stick to that. Just make sure that is your primary goal. And everything you think, all the things you want to do, just think to yourself, number one litmus test before you is, is that funny? That's the key, okay? Golden rule number one, be funny. Number two, respect the craft, okay? Respect the craft. What does that mean? What does that mean, okay? You must acknowledge the fact that this craft has been perfected and honed by so many people before you that you owe due diligence to the craft, okay? You can't just come up here and be yourself. I'm so fucking entertaining, huh? What's wrong with you bitches? You don't fucking get it? How many guys have you seen like that? Right, coming up here, fuck y'all, I know I'm funny. Okay, you may be funny, but you're not doing comedy. You're disrespecting the craft. The craft has been honed and mastered over the last several decades, Comedy Central, YouTube, MySpace, Facebook, everybody's doing it. If you want to stand out, you better master the craft. You better respect that this is a craft and you got to fucking learn it. Okay? So respect the craft. Come up prepared. Work on your jokes. Search for the way. Don't ever think that you and yourself are so great. Have you ever noticed that like, comedians become famous and then all of a sudden they're not so funny anymore? Because they've lost respect for the craft. They think they're so big now, you're fucking lucky they're in the room, motherfucker. Okay? <laughs> Right? And the audience will give a celebrity an hour of credit. You know, like, this has got to get good, right? But eventually, that credit will run out. And that audience will eventually be going, dude, say something fucking funny, man. You know? Number three, this is the third golden rule. And this is a rule you'll break a hundred thousand times during the course of your career. And that's never open with new material. Okay? Right? But you do it all the time, don't you? Because you're in the shower. You think of that joke. You're like, oh, oh, yes. And then, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to open with it. I'm going to open with it. And then you come out. Hey, my God. Can you, you guys hate it when you're in the shower? And then, <laughs> 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 and then uh, okay. Blah, 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 blah. You're now falling face first down a mountain. <laughs> now, that does not apply to open mics. Open mics are something else. Open mics are meant for all new material. Isn't it weird when someone goes up there and does their A material at an open mic? Like... <laughs> 
Are you trying to rock the comedians? <laughs> like, <laughs> all right. Open mics have a very specific purpose, and we're going to get to those. But it isn't to like do your A material. It is to do all new material. So that rule doesn't apply to the course of open mics. But in the course of performance, never open with new material. And I tell you, you'll break it. I promise you. I do it all the time. <laughs> I do it all the time. I think I'm driving. I think of some shit. I'm like, brilliant. When I was in traffic, and I was like, I wish I had a hover car, you know? So I could just be like, fuck you, bitches. <laughs> right, that's the exact reaction I got. That's exact, exactly. Exactly. I thought it was genius. I thought, oh, they're going to love it. So those are the golden rules. Number one, be funny. Number two, respect the craft. And number three, never open with new material. Okay?